Roxana Ganji joins us from there. Uh, and, you know, there are some people who say that the increasing US sanctions, more were just placed about 48 hours ago, are one of the reasons that Iran is not able to take care of its people who are suffering through COVID-19. There are other people, and they're mainly in the American administration, who are saying, actually, this isn't the case, and this is the time to get our political point across to Iran. Russia, China, other countries have told Washington or requested Washington to drop the sanctions, even if it's just for the moment. Is that not the sensible thing to do? Why play politics while people are dying? First of all, the sanctions uh, never affected the me medicine, medical supplies, medicine, food supplies. So um, the U.S. government did, on the very first day of this big crisis in Iran, uh, offer to help. They turned President uh, Trump down. They said they didn't need U.S. help. Uh, today, I heard that uh, Foreign Minister Zarif has actually said that they would like the sanctions to be released, but more sanctions were placed today. The reason for the sanctions, we have to understand, this is not the... This this is the worst tragedy that's happened in Iran, all over the world, but especially in my homeland, Iran. But in the past, when there were uh, earthquakes, when there have been floods, whatever the um, aid that they have received, this regime has received, they have either sold it on the black markets or they have sent it to their proxies. And in this case, and I'm not just saying this, I've got a, a talk show on Channel One TV here in Los Angeles. We're in contact with Iranian people on a 24 seven basis. So they're telling us that whatever aid they get, they've been sending to Iraq and Syria. And on this case, they're even bringing patients from Iraq to Iran. We don't even have enough beds for our own people. What are we doing bringing Iraqis in? We can't even su supply, we don't have supplies. The, our doctors are dying. Big numbers of uh, medical um, uh, doctors and nurses are dying because they don't have the protective gear. So if this government was a responsible government, instead of at a time like this going and bombing and killing soldiers, asking for war, they would be concentrating 24-7 on helping the people of Iran, on providing the proper care, on using the aid that they're getting for the people of Iran, not for their proxies, not sending it to Syria and Iraq. That is why President Trump very well recognizes that if he does give money or aid to Iran. It's not going to go to the people of Iran. And he said it. He wants to make sure that the aid is given where it is deserved. And that is the people of Iran. OK, but Roxana, surely it would be quite simple. OK, we certainly know that almost always sanctions affect the people more than they affect the government which they are targeting, whichever country you're looking at. But we're talking about Iran. Surely it would be quite easy for the Americans to say, for two, three months, we are going to lift sanctions for you to be able to do international commerce, and we are going to monitor where that money is spent and will only be allowed to be spent on medical equipment that is going to be used in the fight against COVID-19. That would be pretty straightforward, wouldn't it? How are we going to monitor it? That's the problem. Who's going to monitor it? Well, there are systems in place. The European Union has been trying to put together, as you know, a mechanism, a monetary mechanism, a financial system, which would allow Iran to do a certain amount of business with the EU. Because the EU, so far in terms of the Iran nuclear deal, with Trump pulling out of it and the danger of its collapse, the EU has been doing what it can to try to safeguard that nuclear deal. So it came up with a mechanism and that was going to be monitored. So surely it would be fairly straightforward to monitor what Iran would be spending money on if sanctions were lifted temporarily to allow it to buy medical equipment. As an Iranian American, I would definitely want my people to get the aid needed. But I would want it to be definitely monitored very closely because, like I said, for 41 years, this regime has time and time again received aid, sold it in the black market, not spent it on its own people. We've had people who, who've been in flood zones and earthquake zones who are still not taken care of after years of going through what they have gone through because of the irresponsibility of this regime. If somebody can actually monitor it and really monitor it, I'm all for it. But nobody's ever been able to monitor this regime. This regime is the biggest liar. It, the, and the people of Iran recognize this. I don't know if you, you talk to the people on the streets of Iran. They are totally 
ready to get rid of this regime. And actually, the regime knows this. This virus is the worst thing that could have happened to them because they were on the okay. threshold of of a, a regime of, of an upheaval and a removal of the regime. And now after this virus is over, they can be sure that the people of Iran will uprise against them the way they handled the situation. OK, if you don't mind, I'm going to ask you a question that I ask, ask almost every guest on this story, the story being US-led sanctions on Iran. And I always ask, do you think that the sanctions are eventually going to lead to the downfall of the Iranian government? I'll tell you what, nobody yet has said yes. What do you think? Uh, well, you know, I think that it cripples the regime to the point where the people then find it uh, in themselves to start acting on acts of civil disobedience. It has crippled the regime. This, the sanctions have definitely worked for now. I mean, that's where the regime had the people have been empowered by these sanctions. The people who don't want this regime have found the power to start acting uh, acts of civil disobedience and uprisings against this regime. And the regime is so weak that it cannot afford to, to spend its money on, you know, doing all the terror acts that it did. So in a way, it has helped the, the, uh, the movement. Unfortunately, with this coronavirus, which is a pandemic, it's all over the world, the people of Iran are, are now, you know, so can't yeah, do the gatherings, like you said, and the upheaval has stopped for now. But I can assure you, it has helped the people of Iran in finding the power in themselves. It has crippled the regime, and it's empowered our people in finding a way to stand up to this regime. I personally believe that the sanctions have worked. For what purpose Roxana, they thank were... You. You know, thank you so sure. much indeed uh, for talking for to us time. on TRT World. Roxana Ganji in Los Angeles.